Okay, so the first thing that you see me do is add some annotations to mark out which part of the whole tiles that I'm going to repeat as a pattern. Then you can see that I'm also marked out like the top right part because I'm going to mirror that um, on the X and Y to create the four other parts in the pattern. So the first thing that I'm doing here is just creating this mirroring and then when you add the X and Y you get the some sort of vertical or horizontal gradient, sorry, <laughs> diagonal gradient, and then using the compare node I'm making a mask. So um, when making procedural textures usually you don't want to use a compare node, so you'll see me change that compare node later on. So what you want to do is use something like a map range which, um, to, mask, to create a mask which still has a little bit of a gradient at the end. That way um, the transitions will be better. So now I'm creating those cuts in the tiles and then adding some repetition using the fraction node. But currently the repetition isn't correct yet because the fraction gives gradients from 0 to 1 while I was using gradients from the object's coordinates which go from minus 1 to 1 so you'll have see me fix that now. And then the pattern should be correct now, but I'm still fixing some things because the vertical lines, they were placed next to each other, which made them twice as thick. So I had to reduce their thickness to make it look correct. So now I'm replacing that compare node with a map range node. But if I want to do that, I first have to um, create some mirrored gradients using the subtract absolute. Uh, method. And now, since the first three nodes of like the X and Y are the same, I am going to replace them with vector math nodes. That way we have a bit less nodes. But uh, I make some mistakes here where I thought I could get rid of some scale nodes, but that didn't work, so I had to bring back the scale node. Okay, so now that I have the pattern, the next step is going to be to create the actual shader and for that we're going to mix um, the masks that we created with procedural textures. I mean not procedural, image textures. So for that I'm going to use the node wrangler image texture. I mean the, you can press ctrl shift T on a principal shader to then select the image textures that you need. It will automatically add the nodes. And the reason it looks weird here is because I accidentally plugged the uh, value into the normal socket of the bump node instead of the height. So now what I'm going to do is add some noise texture to break up those edges. So first I isolate the edges, again using some map range and other nodes like multiply. And the reason I'm doing this is to make those transitions better and you can see in the reference image that the borders of the tiles aren't just perfect straight lines they're a bit rough so that's what i'm doing here but i have to tweak those values a lot because of the masks clipping the noise which would make it look weird and you can see that the edges are broken up so for the tiles themselves i still haven't added image texture so i'm doing that now for that i'm using some concrete texture and you can see that the color doesn't match, so I add in a use saturation value node um, to fix that. So I'm tweaking the values here because they weren't looking as great. And I've added in a roughness node as well. So you can see that by using the use saturation value, I can get rid of the more reddish color and make it match the reference image more. So I've added this noise on top of the uh, concrete texture because the concrete texture was really flat and I wanted a more bumpy texture like in the reference and I'm adding more noise to make it seem a bit more dirty. So here I added in a light so that I have a better view of what I'm doing right, so I can see the normals better. And then here I'm expanding the gradients that we made to create some fake ambient occlusion create some fake shadows of the tiles 
So you can see that I'm using it as a mask on the moss or grass texture to make it seem like the tiles are casting shadows. That way it will blend better and make it seem a bit more realistic. <laughs> 